Well, this is the second part of the video tutorial uh, of making a concept model for the Olympic Stadium in Beijing. The idea is to create a surface uh, which represents the envelope of the stadium and then slice it up to generate a series of intersecting strips which um, uh, creates the pattern on the nested bird stadium. So the first thing we're going to do is creating the base surface. There are multiple approach to this. What I'm going to show you here is using the loft object to create uh, this double curvature surface. I'm telling you that loft is an amazing tool in 3D Max. Almost all the modeling I used to do in Max, it begins with a loft object. For that, you you need a couple of things, oh, which are the main pan and a couple of cross sections. In our case, the pad could be an ellipse. So I'm just going to create an ellipse, an XY plane, uh, and approximately gives him the, the dimension of the stadium. Since it's a parametric modeling, so everything can be adjusted later. So I'm not worried about this dimension now. And we're going to check how they look in final result. Uh, and then you you need to create a uh, couple curve for cross section. Uh, I use a line tool in front view, and we do it like this. We just four uh, vertices, and then we turn uh, the two middle one into smooth mode. So we can get, well, let me just make this thing uh, visible in view. A very important point when you're using loft object is that your cross section will be aligned on the pad according to its pivot point. So the first thing you, you do after you finish your cross section is to match this uh, base point and the corner uh, that you want to, to be aligned on the pad. So I'm using the snap. Let's check on the, that's perfect. And we're gonna just move this here. Uh, for the other curve, we can make a copy of this one holding shift and slide this over here we use copy so I can adjust the second cross section into something like this you don't need a snap anymore okay now let's create uh, our loft geometry. We first select the pad and uh, under the compound objects uh, you run the loft command and uh, just press the get shape button and uh, pick one of the cross section. As you can see it goes to the first point of the pad and what I need to do is to place another one of the same cross section at the opposite point. If you check on the, the pad parameters, you have options for setting up the shapes. These options are percentage and distance. If you percentage, you can simply say 50 means the 50% 50 of the pad which obviously is the is the middle of the pad, and then you can set up the the next profile over there. So I'm picking the same shape in there. So now, if 
So now, if you notice, I have two sections here. And I'm going to place the other cross section at the quarters of the pad, which is the 25% uh, of the pad. If you notice, this cross mark moves in there, at the quarter point. And uh, it, I'm ready to pick the third cross section. And we move to 75%, which is the point, the opposite point, picked again the same cross section. So this is going to be our base surface. I still have a chance to modify this, and you can just simply go to your shape and see what you can do with the, the vertices. And once you're happy with that, just make sure um, geometry doesn't have any issue in terms of uh, deform polygons or uh, overlapped vertices. To avoid that, you can remove the adaptive pad steps and also you probably need to make it a little bit more smoother. So we, we increase the pad steps and shape steps. I'm just going to move this vertex a little bit from the middle. Okay, everything is alright. So let's move forward and create the first slice. To slice up the surface, we, we can intersect it with a single box. Um, so we'll make a box uh, which is narrow in one dimension it, it actually looks like a plane with a little bit of thickness so I move this thing in the center and just make sure it's big enough it always intersect the surface okay now we select our loft object and uh, from the compound objects we choose the, the boolean and from the operation uh, choose the intersection and then pick the box so what is left is actually a couple of strips which uh, we can add a shell modifier on top to give it some thickness and we're done if you just go to the uh, your boolean object and then pick the box as you can see I can move this box and I can get uh, this strips moving on on the surface or I can also rotate it and get it in different direction uh, this is the main idea behind this geometry uh, so since everything is under control, we can we can make a parametric array out of this. 